Hey everyone, long time no see. How's it going? I'm on the move once again. The surroundings may look different, my atmosphere may look different because I'm in a new spot. I just got to Malta. You'll probably notice the trend, right? I'm at the hostel some places, Airbnb some places. It all depends on the price. So I was able to find, a, a, I would say, a fairly cheap Airbnb. Um, this is just the room, but I have access to, you know, a bathroom and then as well as the rest of the apartment. Out my, this window here, I have like a balcony and it reminds me of Greece, even though I've never been to Greece. It just reminds me of, um, what's that, Santorini? Just because everything's like this white color on the walls and it just, um, it looks really nice and beautiful. I'm about to head out to get some breakfast, uh, of course walk, and I want to do better. I keep saying this, I want to do better at recording and walking around, but it's just, um, I mean, I'm traveling solo, so I don't want to make myself a huge target holding the camera up, talking to a camera. Oh, check this out. I'm going scuba diving tomorrow, and I've never been scuba diving before. So I, uh, I get to go scuba diving tomorrow, and um, I'm really excited. I've done all the research. It's not like I'm just sending it into a, a random um, experience, but I've done all the research and have all the book knowledge. I just need to put it to practice. So I'm going scuba diving tomorrow. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, <laughs> I'm excited. But um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in a little minute. Smell you later. See ya. Oh boy, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I've only been outside for maybe an hour. It's beautiful here. Food is cheap. The everything is basically cheap. Cheaper compared to Rome. Cheaper. And I just I just went and ate at the place was Duke Snack Shop. Um, that's what it looks like. The food was great. Service was just as good and cheap. Very cheap. I got a grilled chicken wrap. Very all new all fresh ingredients for six euros so that's about 650 give or take a couple cents dollars and on the way down there because i'm, I'm heading over to uh, triton statue i believe that's the name of it is and just 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 to walk for a little bit i was walking down the street and i saw this this one place that i basically passed while i was looking for the place that i um, had went to go eat and I wanted to see their prices and I saw that they accept all cards, all major cards. And the place that I went to, they didn't. So I had uh, fortunately got some euros um, and I paid there. But so since they accept cards, it's green. I can get whatever now because I, I only had 20 euros, about $20. Um, so that's all the cash I had. And it, long story short, I stopped by and I noticed they had fresh baked goods, all of these things. And as I'm waiting in line, they bring out this beautiful... I already know, beautiful, fresh baked pizza. And it was cheese, uh, chicken, and barbecue. So that's my typical go-to pizza when I'm back in the States. And it was fresh, brought out, it was like a match made in heaven. It came out, it's looking at me, I'm looking at it. And so I grabbed a, a slice of pizza and a chocolate croissant and it was only three pounds. So I basically just had, I'm, I'm, I haven't even got to the croissant yet, full, and it was only 10 pounds for breakfast. Uh, well, not pounds, euros, excuse me. Breakfast was only 10 euros, um, and I'm full. A huge slice of pizza, this beautiful fresh wrap, uh, fresh grilled chicken wrap, and then a chocolate croissant, and a drink, 10 euros. And that's, that's me pushing it. It was only six euros, but I, I was still a little bit hungry. And I wanted to see what that uh, the fresh food was like there. Um, the weather is nice. It's 60 degrees and sunny. Um, Rome was a little bit cloudy at times and more condensed, like humid wise. This is like a fresh, fresh air. So Malta, you've already done me well. Sidewalk may look overgrown to some, but this is beautiful to me because they're just letting the plants grow. We walk, we walking, we walking. But yeah, I told y'all I'm gonna do better to pick it up the camera. So, we walking. My apologies if it is like, oh, this guy is bringing us these places. Where's all the facts? Where's all of that? Where's all of this? Um, I'm not a tour guide. I am a regular person just like you. And yes, I look up these places. Yes, I look into these places, but I don't know everything about them. And so I'm learning as I go. Um, 
And just for instance, like I shared with that, that the breakfast and the food that I got, how significantly cheap it was and how healthy it was. But yeah, it's just beautiful here. Oh, fun fact, they, they drive on the left. So like, I think the UK, London, so steering wheels on the right. And then my Uber driver was telling me this earlier that the license plates are intentional. So it's not like in the States that, uh, more that <laughs> staring at the camera. Not like in the States where the, the license plates are just like, whatever. Um, the license plates basically have a meaning. If in the first three letters, it ends in L-Y, that means it's a taxi driver. And he said, no matter where you go here, if you see those last three, because if you look, sorry to whoever's car this is, we are in three letter increments. So it's the first three, space, second three. So they're intentional. Um, so you will know it's a bus, you will know it's a taxi, it's based off of the first three letters of the license. And I thought that was pretty cool because in the States, you basically just get, you just get a license. You don't, you can customize it later, but it has no meaning. So they're very intentional already, I can see. I thought that was really cool. But interesting experience for me already, walking on the right side of the road and cars are coming at you <laughs> instead of them being on your side. These buildings are, you just see the age on them. Yeah. It's so cool here. I wish I knew more history about this country and just history in general. But I learn, I will learn. But I'll see you all in a minute. Is that a bike? <laughs> you caught me. All right, y'all. Yeah, I'm sold. No one was trying to sell me, but I'm sold. I um, was walking over to that statue like I was telling you guys earlier. And I just wandered into what looks like a nice trailhead here. What is this? Wow, look at this. I feel like this is going to force me to upgrade camera quality because I don't think this is doing it justice. I'm trying, but oh boy. What is going on? Somebody getting jumped? Get him. Stop it. Is it near jumping that boy in? <laughs> He had to earn his rights of passage. What are the sights? Look at this. Just walking, which I, I love to do now. It's so peaceful. No music, just walking. Yeah, so see you all in a little bit when I get up to the statue. Scoop it out of time. Let's get to the money. Let's get to the money. Ooh. 
Ooh, 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 ooh. Howdy, people. You lovely folks. Coming to you live from the airport in Malta. I, um, unfortunately, the trip is over. I actually genuinely loved it here. People treated me great. The food, great. Very affordable. Transportation, great. Very affordable. Just overall, good experiences. Um, yeah, no complaints. I had one instance that someone could say was a little bit racist, but I definitely experienced a little bit more of that in Italy than here. So, yeah, overall, 10 out of 10 country. Overall, 10 out of 10 experience. Um, very, very walkable. I know not too many people get the experience or the opportunity to travel a lot. And I'm gonna disclose basically how I'm able to travel and what I've done or, you know, basically how I can afford traveling at my age to these places and all this, that, and third. But for the most part, really great experience here. Um, great people. I went scuba diving. I wasn't able to bring you guys with me for that because it was my certification uh, period. So I needed to be locked in focus and I couldn't set uh, my camera up because again, locked in focus and it's pretty important. Um, yeah. I'm on the way to Madrid now, and I'm excited. It's a big city. I'm not too fond of big cities, but this one, it should be fun. Should be fun. I have a connect there already, so shout out to my guy, Todd. I met in Rome. A quick two hour flight, and I'm there. Thank you all again for watching. I really enjoy traveling, and I really enjoy being able to share that with you all, and you guys make it possible. Um, so, if you like the content, let me know. If you don't like the content, let me know. I probably wouldn't care about the second one. Um, I mean, I like those who like me. So, you know what I mean? You can't please everyone. But overall, I'm very thankful to be here. Praise God that I've been able to travel. Um, my leg has been bothering me just a tiny little bit, but that's because I was walking everywhere in Converse. Um, and so I finally decided to put my actual walking shoes on. Yeah, my lemon pepper steppers. But. Yeah, at the airport now. Flight leaves in an hour and a half. So I have plenty of time. So I'm gonna go get something to eat and chill. I might edit for y'all too, but chill. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. I feel like you can't fight. Like, if I was to pull up to your house right now with boxing gloves on, I feel like you couldn't fight. The birds told me that, by the way. Yeah, just got to this nice park bench and uh, just been sitting here. It's beautiful. And this is in the heart of the city too. It's not even like I drove to get here. I've just been walking, got off the airplane checked into my hostel um went to go get some food and here we are a few hours later so i feel like i keep doing this as soon as i get out the plane well but it's okay though because i keep having early flights um i hope you all are enjoying so far my journeys my travels um because if not that's too bad because i'm going to keep enjoying them for us both right now we are in spain just touched down we left malta this morning um, I'll be here for three days and then off to the next. So, I mean, I feel like Anthony was named Bourdain, just traveling around, trying different foods in different countries. Now, I will say, I, I think I've said this beforehand, I'm no historian, and um, I mean, I like to learn, and I'll probably learn more as I go, but if I don't say every single thing that I see and what it is, where it came from, you have Google, you'll be all right. But 
it is really nice and pretty out here it's really quiet um i feel like i should start carrying book but books as you travel is wicked business i feel like if i lived here i would have uh books and just come to places like these and just sit down for hours yeah just gonna sit here and enjoy this for a little minute my itinerary of things to do completely empty uh, forgive me if it's not like a super high intensity the ash follows i don't i need to stop by a store and buy more lotion i'm allergic to lotion at this point but damn hmm damn you mean to tell me i've been walking and people have been behind me and seeing that that's tragic yeah i need to stop and get some lotion i might have some on me it's one of those cases where you gotta rip the top off give me it all please i don't know how we've reached this 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 point there we go it's like it never happened see this arm was wicked i can i can do my hands i can take my hands being ashy my elbows i feel like that's a crime but yeah i'm just gonna sit here with the pigeons you know i, I talk to them every now and then they kind of remind me of you a little bit yeah i'm just gonna sit here relax for a little bit it's been a busy day already see you all when i'm off to the next adventure this thing on long time no see i feel like you guys keep running into me at the airport so yes i'm at the airport currently and actively playing a game of chess with my boy darian i um missed you guys my time here in spain it wasn't like my time in malta i didn't really do any excursions i did a lot more walking around and i didn't bother wanting to take you guys with me for that because it's like you're gonna see the same thing over and over and over and over again there's only so much walking that you're gonna wanna see. So, yes. So now we're at the airport. You're gonna see walking and then the airport. Cause that's really all I did here in Spain. Um, I'm off to another continent now, in another country. So, see you beautiful people all in a second. Stay good, shower, breathe, drink your water. I'll see you all later. Love you. Goodbye.